I'm Frank Grigic. I do research in artificial intelligence at the University of Toronto and at the Vector Institute. Artificial intelligence is giving us a lot of really great new applications and it's providing a lot of benefit in a lot of areas. But as artificial intelligence moves out of the research labs and into the real world, more and more people are becoming aware of some ethical concerns that kind of go along with some of these applications. So there are three big ethical concerns with artificial intelligence. Uh, the first one involves what we actually use artificial intelligence for. Normally when we develop AI you know, in the lab, we're developing it for reasons uh, we think are good. So we're using video tracking of people in healthcare settings to make sure they're recovering from an injury or something like that. But the same technology can be taken out and put into smart bombs to track people or be used by governments to track their citizens as they, as they move around, which is sort of an Orwellian spooky future which we may not necessarily agree with. So we need to figure out when we're developing these AI algorithms, what are the potential outcomes that we don't necessarily expect. The second ethical concern with AI has to do with who has access to AI. Increasingly, AI has to run on bigger and faster and more expensive machines, and the only people who can afford those machines are these big international companies, which means that uh, fewer and fewer people actually can control the destiny of artificial intelligence. And we don't necessarily want that. We want all of us to kind of have a say in how AI will be used to benefit our society in the future. The third ethical concern that I see with artificial intelligence is that artificial intelligence doesn't exactly think the way that we do and it doesn't necessarily share our values. So the risk isn't that you know, AI will be malicious against us, the risk is that AI will do exactly what we tell it to do and it'll do it in a way we don't expect. The problem is that we tell artificial intelligence what we want but we define it in a very vague way. And the AI just wants to make us happy, and so it'll find a way to do what we tell it to do, but because it doesn't share our values, it'll do things that are unexpected and kind of bad. And the obvious consequence of this is stuff like bias. If we don't tell you know, artificial intelligence that we don't appreciate bias against uh, certain ethnic groups or genders and so on, the AI might inherently adopt bias from whatever data it gathers. So we need to figure out ways to limit that effect, to make sure that the data we provide to the AI is as free as bias as possible, and also to look at the behavior of the AI and sort of mitigate against the risks that this sort of alien mind behavior causes. I think we all need to have a big open discussion about you know, what AI can do, what it can't do, um, and how we can manipulate things to make sure that it can be used for the benefit of as many people as possible.